we're starting to get into uh, Whitefish Point. And there is our parking lot. Pretty crowded today. Nice to see on a Sunday. It's July 17th, 2022. Here's a space right there. I think it's the only space in here. <laughs> we just got it. Here's the beach at Whitefish Point. And it is just beautiful and loaded with logs and wood. Today, the beach looks bigger than ever. So we're really looking forward to a, a nice jaunt on this beach. Now part of it, I believe, is a wildlife refuge and it is a nationally protected shoreline in some areas. So we have to be very careful where we collect rocks up here in the UP. So we're not violating any laws or disturbing any protected habitats. The points to the right, and you can't really go beyond there and collect any rocks or really safely go beyond there because of the breeding grounds for the piping plovers. But this beach goes on for a long, especially west just just a huge beach lots of driftwood it all protects the beach from eroding so it stays here so whatever washes up stays washed up all right is that canada over there You can see Canada from here, a lot of it, and a beautiful day. It's in the high 70s, nothing but sun, and it's Sunday, July 17th, 2022. That's a beautiful freighter coming out of the point. This is not too far from where the Edmund Fitzgerald went down. It was off of Whitefish Point. And that's an ore carrier right there. Wow. You can hear the low rumble of it. Those are some powerful diesels. Just uh, pull this out of the drink. I don't know what's purple like that with the veins, but that it could be garnet. This is a very common, garnet's usually very small. Um, in the Great Lakes. You don't find very big pieces of it, but that's bright reddish purple. So I suspect this might be a garnet vein throughout this quartz. Then I found this black and red, or red and black, which I'm not sure what this is, but I like it and I'm gonna take it home and try and identify it. So yeah, this is just a beautiful beach. Let's see what else we have. I'm gonna go back out in the water to find something. Here's something right away. Is it green enough? Through the water, look off the green. And it's just a, you know, all this stuff is, it's just granite, you know, but it's um, polished because the waves here are so gentle. Um, often, you it just kind of like semi polishes these rocks. So, kind of a nice thing to pull them out of this water in such uh, cool shape. So highly recommend, love this place, Whitefish Point. All right, we've got uh, such beautiful rocks here at Whitefish Point. You can find uh, a lot of um, feldspar, this beautiful line of basalt through it. And just very colorful rocks. Here's a beautiful piece of what looks like jasper. And I love finding jasper, it's usually bright red. Try not to get in the shadow here so that we can keep uh yeah that's that's a nice red rock probably jasper but i'd have to test it on a mohs scale but yeah everything found in these waters are just beautiful i mean it's just like crazy beautiful stuff so yeah, i really recommend Whitefish Point for color, um, variety. What you're not gonna find up here 
are a whole lot of fossils. This is more uh, the harder stuff like epidote and feldspar. Um, granite. Yeah, lots of granite. And uh, yeah, so, and every, t every now and then rhyolite. But this beautiful feldspar often has big pieces of quartz in it. And um, yeah, it's just kind of, uh, there's a lot of variation up here. It's just very, very beautiful to, to get up here and check out the colors. So highly recommended. One of our favorite spots to enjoy rock pounding is uh, Whitefish Point. I get right out in the water because it's as clear as a bell. And uh, you can find stuff like uh, iron ore. I think this might be some iron ore with the uh, red veins running through that basalt like that. I'm not sure. Actually, I never am. <laughs> but I uh, will do a little research to, to make sure I know what I'm looking at here. And then I just saw a beautiful piece of bright green epidote in the sand here. Where did it go? Here it is. Just bright green, real small. I put them in a jar. <laughs> oh, here, I'll hold that a little longer. Sometimes I'm guilty of just flashing it in front of the camera and that's that. I found that piece of unakite I saw in the water. Finally picked it out of the water. There it is. That's uh, feldspar and epidote. The green is epidote, the red is feldspar. And this is really what what constitutes unakite. Fresh, or uh, Great Lakes unakite. So that's the difference. It has to pretty much be referred to, if you're gonna trade and stuff like that, refer to it as Great Lakes unakite. So there you go. Here's the green rock. I think that's just green, greenish basalt. I thought I saw a piece of green right here. Oh, it's epidote. Boy, there are all sorts of colors in here. This is a great place to be. Here's a piece of uh, unikite. Wow. All right, let's take a closer look at these. And I'll go and get that other piece of unikite. Okay, this is epidotic basalt. It's nothing terribly special. Um, it's, not, it's kind of a duller green. And this is the more like... Um, this is more like epidote. And this is epidote and feldspar. It's not real red. A lot of epidote though. So it's a very nice rock. Try and stay out of our own shadows here. All right, here is, uh, this is the, these are the rocks from Whitefish Point in the UP, Upper Mi Peninsula of Michigan. And Whitefish Point is <clears throat> the most northerly, easterly point of the Upper Peninsula. And the shores are a little rougher there. And we've got some beauty, so let's get them wet. We'll show you what we found. They don't really show up well until you get them nice and wet. And then you can see the colors just, just pop out of these things. So there you go. They're all wet and they're not gonna stay wet for long because it's a hot day. But, okay, we've got beautiful porphyry. It's just basalt with some epidote in it. I believe this is Galgunda tillite. Um, we've got feldspar, very rich feldspar. And there's a name for this pattern in it. I've got to find out what that is. More porphyry. I love porphyry. It's one of my favorites. So I pick it up if it's flat and small, especially because I'm making a tabletop kind of one of those things you pour the, the plastic over and it seals it up and makes it look like it's wet. Here's a great piece of unikite. Half epidote, half feldspar. So that's that's a beauty right there. And there's a there's plenty of unikite within this pile. And uh, some beautiful jasper I found. Um, let's see, another piece of unikite, a little clumpier. Uh, let's see beautiful piece of 
I guess really it's just um, granite, but the epidote uh, veins in it are great. And here's a huge chunk, what I think is slag. Look at the layers in it. That's wild. And it might not be slag, but I think it is. And it's a beautiful green with a, just a lot of a lot of character in it. So, and of course we pick up quartz. It's darn near polished from the sand and waves over there. So, yeah, this is it from uh, Whitefish Point at the top of the UP on the east side. Highly recommended. One of the most beautiful places to find rocks in the world.